Welcome back. Today I'd like to talk to you about the chain rule. Now the chain rule is very important in being able to compute something, a difficult derivative. And so let's walk through the chain rule and then let's go through some examples of how you actually compute things using the chain rule. And uh, the chain rule says that if you have a function f of u, where u itself is a function of x, um, so u is equal to g of x. So actually we've got f of g of x is our function. Uh, and <clears throat> g of x is differentiable at x. Then the composite function, f composed with g of x, which is just a different way of writing f of the function g of x, is differentiable at x. And this is how we take the derivative. So if I want to take the derivative of this function f composed with g of x, then I do the following. I'm going to take the derivative of f of it, f. Now, f I want to consider to be what we would call the outside function, and g of x is the inside function. You can see here it's f of g of x. So I've got a function of a function. So this is the outside function, f, and there's an inside function, g. Once you figure out what's the outermost function, or what's the last thing that this function's doing, the way that I like to think about this is, if I were typing this into my calculator, what's the thing that I would do last? Okay, And that's the f function, or the outside function. And the way I take the derivative is I take the derivative of the outer function, leaving the inside alone. Then I multiply that by the derivative of the inside function. Okay? So uh, another way of writing this, and maybe more helpful at times, is that the derivative of y with respect to x is the same thing as the derivative with, of y with respect to the function u times the derivative of u with respect to the function x. And that's actually saying the exact same thing as we're saying above. Because over here you'll notice that u is g of x. So what this is saying is take the derivative of y with respect to g of x, and then take the derivative of g with respect to x, which is exactly what we have written above. OK. Let me just show you something very quickly, and then we'll get into some other examples. Uh, just so you can kind of tell what's an inner function, what's an outer function. So let's say that we have a function, let's call it f of x, that is uh, x squared plus 1 uh, to the fifth power. All right, this would be a perfect example of a chain rule problem, where you have a function inside of another function. And what I mean is there's something that kind of happens last. And when I look at this function, if I were typing this into my calculator, the way that I'd do it is I'd say, take the number x, square it, add 1, and then the very last thing I would do is I'd raise it to the fifth. So the outer function is something to the fifth. Okay, And so I have something raised to the fifth power. If you'd like to, think of it as I have a blob raised to the fifth power. Well, what's the derivative of blob to the fifth? Well, the derivative of blob to the fifth, we already know by the power rule, the derivative of something to the fifth is five of those things to the fourth. And that's halfway there. Because what I did, that's the f prime of g of x. I said there's an outer function, there's the thing that happens last, and I take the derivative of the outer function first. That's this. Now I've got to finish it off by saying, but what's the derivative of the blob of the x squared plus 1 that I left alone? Well, the derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x. So now I have to also multiply this by 2x, and now I'm done taking the derivative. Now imagine actually having to take the derivative of this thing by writing it out five times, 
multiplying all those together and then taking the derivative, that's not very fun. This is so much easier. And you can Im especially imagine if this was x squared plus 1 to the 50th power, how much worse it would be. So this is so clean for calculating derivatives very quickly. This is what we call the chain rule. Now let's look at some examples.